I've mentioned uh, my current wife a couple of times. I should say estranged wife. We're uh, in the process of getting divorced. I think the problem is that I married a woman 17 years younger than me. You know what you get when you marry somebody 17 years younger than you? A lot of text messages. <laughs> a lot. I learned a lot from the relationship. I learned that they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> Get this, I uh, sold a third of my stuff so I'd fit into a smaller apartment in New York City. I uh, sold my car to finance the move. I loaded up a van, I drove it across country. I unload it, bring it up five flights into a five, fifth floor walk up get everything unpacked. My wife says, hey, you know, you can't save boxes in New York. Nobody saves boxes in New York. So I throw away about $200 worth of packing materials. Then about four days later, she says, you know, you're a great guy. You're a wonderful husband, but I want my life back. I said, I want my boxes back. <laughs> Could have told me that four days ago. This is how self-centered she is. I said, I'm going to kill myself. She said, but everybody will hate me. I only wish that was a joke. <laughs> I think what really happened is she realized there was a couple guys on Craigslist she hadn't slept with yet, and she went back to pick up the 710 split. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to get that itch in the roof of my mouth again that only a gun barrel will scratch. <laughs> So what am I supposed to do now? Get a, like join a dating service at my age? I thought I'd join in that Matchmakers International, but who wants to drive all the way to Cairo? <laughs> Especially with gas prices like that. Of course, over there you'll get the really fresh gas. <laughs>